Hey, what's up? Hello, my name is Emma, and today I am getting a new bookshelf. I am at the greatest place in the world, aka Ikea, and I'm here to pick up a new bookshelf for my office slash library. Basically, I have no more shelf space. I do have places where I can put books and like I can fit a few more books on my bookcases, but I really want to expand my shelves. Like I have categorized them by genre. So every once in a while, I need to add another new fantasy shelf if I'm buying a lot of fantasy books. And I don't have the ability to do that because every single one is taken up right now. So I need to expand and I'm here at Ikea to do that. It's hard for me to describe setting this up when I'm not home but I am getting a shorter bookcase all five of my bookcases are six shelves and I'm getting a three shelf one to go under my window just so I can expand and have more space for books so I'm going to go pick up my bookcase I'm gonna put it together and reorganize it for you guys all right so I'm pretty confident that this is the bookcase I'm getting I have bought <laughs> the wrong product from Ikea before but I think this is it it looks like the right size so we'll honestly just have to go home open it up and pray I got it right so it took me like three seconds to find the bookcase so I'm gonna go walk in the fake plant room even though I just spent like $30 on fake plants from Amazon because when you're in Ikea you have to leave with more than what you need it's just what you do so I went a little crazy in the plants aisle aka I'm returning everything I bought off of Amazon because I like these so much better <laughs> the last thing that I did actually need at Ikea was hangers so I'm all ready to go check out and then we're gonna go home and put together this y'all it is pouring just my luck so before I get into attempting to put this bookshelf all together by myself for the very first time, let's do a mini Ikea haul. Side note, driving home from Ikea was literally the worst weather I have ever driven in, but I made it home in one piece and I have everything that I'm excited about. So the first item I bought is the plants. So I bought these like hanging vine plants. I bought four of them. <laughs> I recently bought quite a few different yards of these fake vines from Amazon, but I like them in the pot better because I really wanted to hang them from my bookshelf so I got quite a few of those I also bought this pack of three different succulents again fake plants because I can't grow anything to save my life I have some succulents from Amazon in my bedroom but I really wanted some more plants in this room to make it feel a little bit more lively even though they're all fake again I bought my hangers I bought so many of these hangers over the years it's ridiculous but they are my favorite I bought this three pack of Tupperware because I need some new containers to bring my salads to work in and then I also picked up these reusable straws because I'm really trying to make some more eco-friendly changes in my life and I feel like straws are such an easy one so I figured I can keep two in my purse two in my car for when Doug and I go to Taco Bell at 2 a.m. and don't want to use plastic straws and then two at home for whenever I use them at home I don't really use straws that frequently but I feel like it's better for me to have them so that I can reach for them and get into the habit of using reusable straws instead of plastic ones so I'm really happy with my Ikea haul and now I'm going to attempt to put this bookcase together.
So this is my finished bookcase and I am so happy with it. I'm really proud that I was able to manage it by myself. All of my other bookcases have either been done for me or I've put them together with the help of someone else and I'm not the most handy person so having this together makes me really really happy. What I really like about my bookcase being on this side of the wall is not only does it open up more floor space but I also have enough space from the end of my tall bookcase to my desk so that I can put another one of these in in the future. So I'm just gonna have like a whole wall of bookcases eventually and it's gonna be so great. Before I get into redecorating I do want to make one quick note on safety because I'm aware that I'm not setting the best example. When you have wall bookcases they should be secured to the wall. It's very dangerous to just have them standing on their own because they can easily fall over. With the way my ceilings are formed in this room as well as the molding on this wall I don't have the ability to fasten them but I just really wanted to make it known if you are someone that is going to be having or does have wall bookcases at your home you should really really make it a priority to secure them so that there are no accidents. Moving on to the organization part of this video I have decided that this bookcase is going to be dedicated to my advanced reader copy collection. I have loved the way I've been organizing them over the past few years where I have all of my arcs on the bottom shelf of each of my bookcases, but it's getting too big and I need the shelf space, so they are all going to go here. I feel the most logical way to do this would be to start from the oldest arc and then go down to newest on bottom, but I'm actually going to reverse it and start with newest on top and oldest on the bottom. Number one, because the height of this shelf is higher than the height of the bottom shelf, so I can actually like stack other arcs on top of it as I get them. And number two, I just want to display my newer ones on top because they are more relevant to me at the moment. So I'm going to place all of my arcs on this bookcase and then I will get to reorganizing all the big bookcases. condensing off camera because I realized I just had space to stack a few more on top of each other but this is my current ARC collection in its new bookcase and I'm really happy with it. I have a lot of extra space on the top shelf which is what I really need. Like my problem with having ARCs on the bottom shelves is that they were just always becoming overflowing and I didn't have space for them. So now I have a lot more space to put ARCs that are upcoming up here. Now we move on to what is going to be the most dragging part of this video for me and that is organizing the rest of my shelves. I have just opened up three extra or technically like four extra shelves that I can space out and make more room for other books that are going to be going into some of the genres that I've already established. So um, I don't want to do this but I have to and I'm gonna record it so I hope you guys enjoy it. So I did a little bit more organizing off camera. I didn't think it would be that entertaining to watch because it was just a lot of me going back and forth putting books on the shelves and taking them off and it was overall just to decide what shelves I am keeping and which ones I am taking off and completely reorganizing. As you can see the shelves that I mostly film in front of are pretty much full. I only have two open spots at the very very bottom and then on these shelves to my right I have six open shelves. That being said I still have so many books to put back on my shelves. All of these books are pretty much grouped into high fantasy, urban fantasy slash paranormal, historical fiction fantasy, fun contemporaries, and serious issue contemporaries. So I really have no idea how I'm organizing them. I basically have just put them into different piles and grouped them all together to see where they're gonna go, but I'm probably just going to like jump around, go to whatever shelf is inspiring me first, and then I will edit it all together and hopefully you guys will enjoy it.
well, that really concludes me getting my new mini bookcase and completing my shelf reorganization. I am so happy with my shelves. I feel like I'm the happiest I've been with them in such a long time. They're just so spacious. I have so much more room for new books coming in on a variety of different shelves. I actually ended up freeing an entire new shelf so I can make that whatever I want in the future and that's really exciting, especially considering before I had this new bookcase, I had all of my shelves completely full with no room for me to dabble and like be flexible with it. With bookshelf reorganization videos usually come questions as to when is the next bookshelf tour and I can't make any promises yet but I am definitely hoping to get a new one up by the end of the year because I do have this beautiful new bookcase and all of this gorgeous new reorganization that I want to share in depth with you guys. But that really concludes this video so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for a new one. Bye!